Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to take a moment to express my sincere gratitude to each and every one of you for helping me reach 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. This is a huge milestone for me and I couldn't have done it without your support and encouragement. I had hoped to create a video detailing the process of creating my first game using Godot 4 over the weekend. However, things didn't go quite as planned. Here's what actually happened. I had spent some time browsing through itch.io in search of a game jam that I could participate in, hoping to use this opportunity to create my first game using Godot 4. In a previous video, I had mentioned finding a fantastic tutorial by Null Game Dev, which was only 1 hour and 40 minutes long. Now, based on the assumption that a weekend lasts from Friday to Sunday, I thought that I could participate in a 48 hour game jam and use the tutorial to guide me. And if I didn't need to eat or sleep during the game jam, this was completely doable. The tutorial covered all the essential elements needed for a basic platformer game. A player character that had animations, a straightforward health system, enemies and a scoring system. Additionally, it also included a save game and load game feature. Given that the tutorial was only 1 hour and 40 minutes long, I felt confident that I would have ample time to create my own game. I found a really interesting game jam called Mini Game Gam number 16. What made this one interesting was not only the name, but that the game jam would have a team and a special object. And the game that you made should be based around the team and the special object should be in the game and should play a somewhat important role. The theme was Break the Rules and the special object was Duct Tape. Then I found another one called the Mini Jam number 129, Poison. This was another interesting one. There was a team and a limitation. The team was Poison and it was purely inspirational and not required. The limitation, you are not the hero, was a special condition that the game must follow but was open to interpretation. So now I had two options and a tutorial that was 1 hour and 40 minutes long. How could anything possibly go wrong? There was only one little thing though. By this time, the deadline for both of these jams were less than 24 hours away. But again, if I did not eat or sleep, surely I could pull this off. So it was on to the tutorial. With my over 3 years of experience using Unity, and a basic understanding of programming c -sharp with Unity, I initially believed that creating a game using Godot 4 would not be too challenging. And for the most part, it wasn't. However, the real challenge came from attempting to process an abundance of new information while under the constraints of a time limit. During the tutorial, I couldn't help but compare the differences between Unity and Godot 4. One thing that stood out to me was that, for 2D development in Unity, I spent a lot of time creating systems and tools that I needed to use. However, in Godot 4, many of these systems are already built in, which makes the development process much smoother. For example, there's a node called a Character Body 2D in Godot 4 that has a starter script for basic 2D player movement. Additionally, if you need to create a timer, there's a node called Timer that does just that. In my opinion, this makes things a lot easier as it reduces the amount of code needed to accomplish a task. While coding is still necessary, it can be done with fewer lines of code than one may expect. That being said, it took me over 8 hours to truly comprehend the concepts behind the GDScript language and the Godot 4 node system presented in the tutorial, which was only 1 hour and 40 minutes long. This was not the fault of Null Game Dev's teaching, rather it was because of me becoming increasingly tired, hungry and sleepy. The closer I got to completing the tutorial, the longer it seemed, and my mistakes became more frequent. 
By this time, the deadlines for both game jams were passed, but at least I finished the tutorial. I decided that although the submission period for the game jams had passed, I would still finish my game. And I decided to make my game with the guidelines for the mini jam 129 poison. The premise of my game revolves around an anti-hero ninja frog that has been poisoned and is slowly dying. To survive, he must eliminate other frogs guarding the cherry trees and consume the cherries, which will add more time to his life. The quantity of cherries he obtains depends on the number of frogs he kills, and the more cherries he consumes, the longer he will live. Although I did not get to submit my game to either of the game jams, I am still glad that I was able to finish it. If you'd like to play my game, there's a link to it in the description. I have also linked some of the useful tutorials that I used to make my game. Thanks for watching and let's continue to make and explore these worlds one pixel at a time.